temple pain causes and treatment pain in the temples is very common while many factors can cause it this pain most often stems from stress or tension temple pain can result from an underlying medical condition though this is rare over the counter pain medication and lifestyle changes can often relieve pain in the temples if a person has additional symptoms or concerns however it may be a good idea to consult a healthcare provider in this video we look at possible causes of temple pain we also describe their symptoms treatments and when to see a doctor tension headache a tension headache commonly causes vice like pain in a band around the head it can also cause tenderness in the head and neck muscles this headaches may last about 30 minutes though a severe tension headache can last for up to 1 week tension headaches usually cause mild or moderate pain they do not get worse with physical activity so people are often able to carry on with their routines while unlike other types of headache tension headaches do not cause nausea or vomiting people may feel increased sensitivity to either noise or light diagnosis the doctor will review the pain, uh, the, the person's medical history and symptoms there are no specific test to diagnose tension headaches and they can be difficult to distinguish from migraine headaches treatment if tension headaches are frequent and long lasting and therefore chronic a doctor may recommend preventive treatment this may involve an antidepressant as well as massage and relaxation therapy if tension headaches occur infrequently and are therefore acute a person may benefit from taking over the counter medication for pain relief such as acetaminophen or anti inflammatory drug migraine migraine headaches usually start on one side of the head they can also move from the back of the head to the front behind the eye a migraine headache can start as a dull ache that develops into a pulsing pain some people feel pain or pressure in their temples a migraine episode may have the following four stages distinguished by changes in symptoms prodrome this stage can include sensitivity to light and sound tiredness mood changes neck pain and nausea aura a migraine aura is a sensory disturbance an aura may be visual involving lights lines or spots in the field of vision or the aura may be physical causing a pins and needles sensation auras affect one third of people with migraine headache a migraine headache causes pain that gets worse with movement a person may also have nausea vomiting and sensitivity to sound smells light or a combination post drum the final stage of a migraine episode can involve tiredness trouble concentrating weakness and dizziness treatment there is no test to diagnose migraine a doctor will ask for detailed descriptions of the intensity and frequency of migraine headaches and the extent to which symptoms interfere with everyday life keeping a record of symptoms and any medications can help the doctor recommend the best course of treatment minhol an mri or cat scan can rule out other causes of head pain cervicogenic headache a cervicogenic headache can result from a disorder of the cervical spine injuries to the neck 
or arthritis of the upper spine. Symptoms of a cervicogenic headache can include pain on one side of the head, possibly in the temple, a stiff neck, nausea, blurred vision, a sensitivity to light and sound, a reduced range of motion of the neck, a headache that gets worse with certain movements of the neck. Treatment A doctor diagnoses a cervicogenic headache after considering the person's medical history and symptoms. Treatment for cervicogenic headache involves medication including nerve blocks, exercise, physical therapy. Giant cell arthritis Giant cell arthritis or GCA causes inflammation of blood vessels. This results in pain that is intense, burning and pulsating. The pain tends to occur in the temples, though it can extend throughout the head. Common symptoms include tiredness, tenderness in the scalp or temples, pain in the jaw when chewing, a fever, a loss of appetite, weight loss. Rarely, giant cell arthritis can also cause blurring, double vision or loss of vision if it affects the blood supply of the eyes. To prevent this, it is important to obtain a swift diagnosis and immediate treatment. Doctors do not know what causes giant cell arthritis. Treatment The doctor will do a blood test and a biopsy to confirm a diagnosis. The person will then begin treatment immediately. A high doses of steroids can help with giant cell arthritis. This treatment will continue for one month until symptoms go away. Then the doctor will gradually lower the doses. Overall, the treatment tends to last about one year to prevent recurrence. Side effects of steroids can include weight gain and increased risk of infection, muscle weakness, bone loss, elevated blood sugar levels. Vitamin D and calcium supplements may help prevent bone loss. If giant cell arthritis causes vision loss, it is usually irreversible. Mild Traumatic Brain Injury A mild traumatic brain injury or TBI is caused by an impact to the head. About 85% of headaches that result from a mild traumatic brain injury are tension headaches. A person may feel this pain anywhere in the head, including the temples. Treatment After a mild traumatic brain injury, doctors may use MRI or CAT scans to detect any blood clots or bruising to the brain. If memory problems, dizziness, visual disturbances or persistent headaches occur, the person may need to see a neurologist. After a mild traumatic brain injury, it is important for the person to follow their healthcare provider's instructions. This may involve rest, exercise, relaxation, a reduced caffeine intake. Physical therapy may also help with tension headaches that result from a mild traumatic brain injury. Cerebral aneurysm A cerebral aneurysm is a weak, bulging area in the wall of an artery in the brain. If it bursts, this causes a sudden excruciating headache. An aneurysm can develop in any artery in the brain. Symptoms can include drowsiness, sensitivity to light, eye pain, a stiff neck, nausea, vomiting, a sudden severe headache if the aneurysm ruptures. Treatment 
doctors use the following test to diagnose an aneurysm digital subtracting subtraction angiography this produces an image of the blood vessels of the brain CT scan this shows a more detailed image to help detect irregularities MRI this can show small changes in brain tissue magnetic resonance angiography this involves using intravenous dye to make the blood vessels more visible on the scans the primary treatment for an aneurysm is surgery of which there are two types open craniotomy which involves using a metal clip to prevent blood flow to the aneurysm endovascular coiling which involves inser inserting soft coils through a catheter to prevent the aneurysm from rupturing brain tumor a brain tumor is an abnormal mass of cells in the brain symptoms can include headaches dizziness nausea confusion seizures and paralysis treatment to diagnose brain tumors doctors can use various forms of imaging including ct pet and mri scans to confirm the diagnosis the doctor may recommend a biopsy however this is a risky procedure doctors usually treat brain tumors with surgery the neurosurgeon will remove as much as as much of the tumor as possible without damaging the surrounding brain tissue radiation this can shrink the tumor by killing cancerous cells chemotherapy this damages the cancerous cells when to see a doctor it is important to seek medical attention for head pain when it increases in frequency and severity or does not stop interferes with daily life is accompanied by symptoms such as confusion dizziness a fever or vomiting occurs as a result of a head injury seek immediate medical help if a person experiences a sudden excruciating headache a headache accompanied by vision loss a loss of consciousness or vomiting